Fine. So for this problem, it says that she takes out a loan today and there are eight level payments with first payment one year from today. The payments are calculated based on annual offensive rate of 4.7. The principal portion of the fifth payment is 699.68. Okay, so let's go over the basics. So there are two parts to this uh, problem. Well, there are multiple uh, equations that we need to think about. Okay, the first and foremost is that to find the principal, we always have to do V to the N minus T plus one, right? To find that this is the incremental amount of principal. To find the incremental amount of interest, we always do uh, one minus V to the N minus T plus one. But right now we're focusing more on this one for the principal. A second equation that we need to think about is that they're asking for the total amount of interest paid on this whole loan. So since one minus V to the N minus T plus one is to find the incremental amount of interest in like one period a point in time, to find the interest paid on the loan as a whole, that equation is denoted as the number of years times uh, X, which represents the principal minus um, the loan, right? So basically it's, uh, and why is that? Because basically since we need to pay principal every year, uh, principal, principal times the amount of payments, right? This represents payments minus Well, yeah. Another thing to think, so this is what we need to find, right? Another thing to think about is that th this is an equation similar to this one, but basically interest plus principal equals payment. Now let's go into the problem. So for the first part, it says that payments are calculated from 4.75 and the principal portion for the payment 699.68. So if they're asking, if they're talking about a principal portion, we're gonna have to use the principal equation. So uh, we're gonna do V to the N, how many years? Eight minus, uh, fifth payment, 5t plus 1, and we're going to set it equal to 699.68. So how are we going to find the principal portion to uh, solve this uh, equation, right? We're going to set this p, and we're going to discount it back to uh, what is happening here and we're going to solve this equation so this would be denoted as v to the four which is another way of saying one over uh 1.0475 using to the fourth power using this effective interest rate so what i'm going to do to get p is i'm just going to multiply this by 1.0475 to the fourth power. Now I'm gonna solve, so I'm gonna do 699.68 times 1.0475 to the fourth. I'm gonna get um, 842.39. Now then what I'm gonna do is that since I already found the principal, I'm going to input it in this equation and I'm going to get uh, 842.39 times the number of years occurring times eight. So we already got the first part of the equation done, right? Now the second part is to find the loan. So to find the loan, well, we know that the principal portion of the fifth payment is 699.68, right? So what we're going to do is that we're going to discount this back to time one to find out what was happening at time one. So 
Well, you is going to do 699.68. Discount back to time one, so that would be 1.0475 to the fourth power. And now we're going to solve this, and we're going to get. We're going to get 581.143. Now, once we're going to do that, we found out that uh, each principal that we need to pay out every year is 842.39, right? And we also found out that, um, we also found out that uh, the fifth payment, the the payment occurring at time one is 581.43 as well. So what we're going to do is that we're going to refer to this equation and we're going to uh, subtract both the principal and payment to find out the interest. So once we do that, we're going to do, we're going to subtract both of these and we're going to get 261. Then once we get 261.24 as the amount of interest paid out, we're going to find the loan by multiplying it by um, 0.0475. Because what was the rule all this time? That in order to find the amount of interest paid, we always have to multiply the loan by the annual effective interest rate, right? So from this equation, we need to find X. So what is the loan here? We're going to do uh, 261.24 divided by 0.0475. And we're going to get 5499.78 as the answer. So I'm just going to round this to 5500. So finally, we get the loan amount, right? Right, so now we're going to solve this, right? So the amount of payments that we made to finance the loan Six seven three nine point twelve minus fifty five hundred, and we're gonna get twelve thirty nine point twelve as total amount of interest paid using the total amount of interest paid equation. So it's gonna be twelve thirty nine.